This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. As you can see for this week's uh, Learn My Licks video, we're talking bass again. Last week I did the uh, the kind of blues walking bass line kind of technique, and I thought this week I'd follow it up with uh, the kind of thing I tend to do when I'm not doing that walking blues kind of thing. Basically, uh, what I do for 90% of the time, I'm playing bass. Um, this for me is the most useful and versatile uh, lick or trick that you can play on the bass and it's dead dead simple to learn uh, if you only learn one bass lick then this is probably the one that you need so I call it the frying pan and uh, here's a bit of an explanation about what's going on with it lick explanation Okay, this is probably the bass lick that I use more than any other when I'm just playing in a, a kind of pop, rock, country, any, anything really, anything where I'm not doing that kind of walking bass line technique that we looked at last week. Um, I call it the uh, the frying pan. Uh, here's what it looks like on the neck. Um, it basically goes like this. And I call it the frying pan because you can see there's basically an outline of a frying pan there. Um, something like that anyway. Basically it um, looks like this. And it's essentially a, uh, a major pentatonic scale. You know, uh, if I play these notes here I'm getting G, A, B, uh, D and E. And... Um, you know, you can use all of the notes to outline a chord. Just playing around, just different variations like that. Um, but it's also, as you probably know, if you know your pentatonic theory, um, every major pentatonic is also a minor pentatonic. So if I want to play a minor chord, then all I've got to do is visualize this, this basically the opposite end of this run up here as being the root note. So uh, G is the root note for major in this case, and E is the root note for minor. So uh, if I want to play a G major chord, well, I'll just do what um, you've seen me do already. And as I say, you don't have to use all of the notes. But, you know, you can you can basically use as many or as few as you want. You know, you could maybe just use root and fifth. That's in there. Stick the third in like that. Whatever. But if I want to play a minor chord, as I said, then I start visualising this as me root. So if I wanted to do an E minor chord, I'd go... So 
something like that and that would be how I'd, I, would, I would do a minor chord so if I just kind of walk through um, that chord sequence from the, the demo piece it goes basically G major to C major twice so I'll do G major and then there I can now transfer it onto uh, these two strings and play C major because there's my C note back to G major and C major like that and then um, it goes G major to C again uh, but halfway through the uh, bar of C we go to an A minor which is the relative minor of C major so I'd probably go like that so going up starting from the C there's me C major outline and then there's me A minor outline and then you know I'm going F to C to D like that so I'll put that all together and I'll get something like this two three four Like that, so that's how I would put together, um, you know, a bass line just using this. Let's have a look at it, have a look at it again. This frying pan shape here. Um, that's uh, how I do it, and it's probably, as I say, one of the most versatile and useful little bass licks that you can learn. So now you know what's going on. Go away and have some fun with it. And as always, there's a full tab for the piece of music that I uh, did that demo with in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with the clip of me playing it, and uh, two jam tracks. I'm going to give you the uh, the jam track minus the bass, so you can practice your bass line along with it. And I'll give you the, um, the, the full mix as well, so you can practice jamming some uh, regular six-string uh, licks over the top of it as well. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. Three dollars or two pound fifty a month gets you access to all of these bits and pieces and goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below in the description. And that is the video for today, folks. Hope you found it useful and informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5 p.m. UK time where we have a beer and talk about music and guitars great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now